morning friends today uh, we will discuss uh, the next topic in the set theory of class 11 subject mathematics chapter is first after uh, looking at the set builder and the uh, roster form for the presentation of the set we will go to the next uh, definition The next set is empty set. What is the empty set? The definition is given here. When you have to understand it very clearly, a set which does not contain any element it is very simple. The set which does not contain any element is called the empty set. ऐसा सेट जिसके अंदर कोई भी एलिमेंट नहीं होता वो एंट्री सेट होता है इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय लेटर 5 और बाय द रूल्स ऑफ ऑल दिस टू बेसिस we can represent the empty set so by this definition we have cleared that the set is a set will be empty set if it will not contain any element for example a is a set which is given as the set with the form x is such that x x is such that x is greater than 1 but y is less than 2 means x will come between 1 and 2 but if the equal to is given here means that x is equal to 1 or greater than 1 or x is less than 2 but only the sign of we are considering is x is greater than 1 so x is greater than 1 here and less than 2 but x is a natural number we know that natural number start from 1 natural numbers start from 1 and so on 1 2 3 But there is no, there is no such natural number which lies between one and two. There is no natural number after the one. There is only the next natural number which is two. But there is no natural number between one and two. Therefore, we can say that this set will be a empty set. It means that it is equal to five. Where is the next portion? X is such that. x is the square and x is square is equal and x is odd number we know that the odd number is 1 3 and x is not if we talk about the integer then minus 1 and minus 3 and 1 and 3 but we know also that the square of even number is also the even number so there will be a no There is no odd number of the square will be the even number. Therefore, we can say that this is also the empty set. It means that it is also equal to five. So, by the way, you hear the from both of the examples which say that it is the empty set. In the next one, we will talk about the finite and infinite sets. What is the finite and infinite set? A set which is empty. या तो वो सेट जो एम्पटी होगा एंड और कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स या फिर उसके अंदर जो एलिमेंट है वो फिक्स्ड होंगे उस सेट को क्या बोलते हैं फाइनाइट सेट फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे कि यहां पर एग्जांपल है लेट w बी द सेट ऑफ डेज ऑफ द वीक वीक फॉर ए वीक द नंबर ऑफ डेज आर फिक्स्ड बिकॉज़ वी नो दैट इफ द w बी द सेट ऑफ डेज If the two is the representative of the number of days or days of a week, then there is a figure which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday and Saturday, and it is Sunday. Because the number of days are fixed for a week, and there are numbers is also fixed. It is seven. There are four. The two is the same. Is called the finite set because the number of elements in this are finite. Whereas any set which is empty is also finite. But those but in the second example, if the number of elements is not fixed in any set, that is called the infinite set. So I think that from both of the examples in infinite set, we get the space for more. Elements, but there is no fixed. Now, the next set is equal set. What is equal set? Two sets A and B are set equal.
एग्जांपल एक दे रहे एक्जेक्टली द सेम एलिमेंट फॉर एग्जांपल द एग्जांपल फर्स्ट बोथ द सेट्स हैव 1 2 3 4 एंड द सेकंड सेट इज आल्सो हैव 1 2 3 4 देयर इज अ नो मैटर फॉर द एलिमेंट इन व्हिच एंड देयर ऑर्डर इन व्हिच ऑर्डर दे आर अरेंज वी वी डोंट वी डोंट हैव एनी फ्रॉम द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स बट only we will see here the number of the elements will be the same in both the set. Therefore, these two sets are called equal sets. Another another reason we if we go to the definition, otherwise the sets are going to be unequal. From the second example, A contains only two elements but two elements will be two. Two one three four there are no other elements are seen there therefore A is not equal to B therefore they are unequal sets. Now we have cleared the equal and unequal set from the definition. Now it is the first question of exercise one point two. In the question number one point two. It is the question number first of uh, exercise one point two. In the question number first, we have to check which set is empty set or null set. Empty set is also known as the null set. Empty set is also called the null set. So, if null set is given in the question, so by by meaning of null set is called the empty set. First question is set of odd natural numbers divisible by two. Odd natural numbers divisible by two. Do you know that odd number is divided by two? We know that odd number is not divisible by two. Therefore, the first set is represented the empty set. Empty set second. Because no odd number that which is complete is equal. Set of a given prime number. We know that the least prime number is two and two is even. Therefore, second set least prime number is two and two is even. Therefore, it is not empty set. It is not an empty set. Not empty set. Second, third, third is x is such that x is a natural number in which x is greater than five and x is greater than seven. X is a natural number in जो five से भी less है, यदि seven से बड़ा है, हम जानते हैं कि जो five से भी less होगा, वो seven से बड़ा कैसे हो सकता है? इसलिए third भी हमारा क्या होता है? Empty set. It is also empty set. In the question number four. Y is such that y is a point common to any two parallel lines. Suppose these are two parallel lines, there is no point in both the lines which is common. If it means that with, there is no point which is common in both the lines. But if it is talk about the intersecting lines, then it can say that there is one common point which is called the intersection point. But here there is no point which is common to the parallel lines. Therefore, this set is also this set is also empty set. So it is the first question which we have solved. The next question, question number second is now the question number second is given here and according to question number second we need to check which set is finite or infinite set. The first is the set of a month of a year. It means that a set in which 
टोटल मंथ ऑफ द ईयर इज कलेक्टेड दे आर टोल्ड यू नो दैट देयर आर 12 मंथ्स इन अ ईयर एंड द नंबर ऑफ मंथ्स आर दिस देयरफॉर इज कॉल्ड फाइनाइट फाइनाइट सेट द फर्स्ट सेट इज फाइनाइट सेकंड देयर इज ए आई यू नो दैट 1 2 3 एंड बाय इट इज द सेट ऑफ डिजिटल नंबर्स वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन बट वी कैन नॉट दैट there are no fixed elements that how many elements will be coming there there will be called infinite set infinite set third third is one to three that means we take the last element of the given set is hundred therefore the third set is finite finite set and fourth fourth is the set of positive integers greater than hundred set of positive integers greater than There are number of positive integers greater than hundred. There are so many positive integers. Therefore, it is also called infinite set. The fourth is infinite set, and fifth is the set of a prime number less than nine. We know that there are fixed number of prime numbers because the condition is given less than ninety-nine. Therefore, it is called the finite set. The last, uh, the last set is called In the next, the given question, question number three is in the question number third of exercise one point two. We again have to check which set is finite or which is in finite set. The first the set of nine parallel to x axis means we know that it is the x, it is the y, and is the where the intersect is the x for the origin but according to question the set of all the lines parallel to x axis means those lines which are parallel to x axis but their numbers are not fixed therefore the set of all the lines parallel to x axis is called in phi like so next up according to second Question: The set of letters in the English alphabet denoted with the number 26 and is called a finite set. Okay. In the third, the set of the number which are multiple of five. It means that those numbers which are divisible by five or multiple of five means the those numbers which are divided by five. There are so many numbers which is a multiple of five. They are called. They are number of numbers. They are called in finite set. Fourth is the set of animals living on the earth. So all the if we collect all the animals, their numbers are the same. So they they are living on the earth. They are called in finite set. And in the next, the set of the circle passes through the origin. There are so many circles. The number of circles passes through the origin. They are called in finite. Second, it is the question number three, and after question number three, we will go to the question number four.